I'm not naked, it just looks like that. She's laughing at me. How can I possibly sit here next to a naked woman and have any kind of a concentration <laughs> on what I want to say? Blah, 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 blah. Tits. <laughs> but today we're talking about penises. More you know, specifically, Anthony Weiner's All right, penis. so everybody is, and, I, and when that happens... I pull out, and I say, I don't want to discuss it. It's a stupid issue. I, I hate giving any sex scandal play. Okay, but, you know, I've read some things in the blogosphere, and I'm, we're going to blog Eric's little piece. Yes. And Rachel Maddow did a brilliant... But of course. Oh, I love this woman. Rachel, please let us I can't believe she show. had Larry Flint on her show. I want her to have us on her show. We're going to go on the show. Okay. So she she takes a hold of it and just gets into the guts of it. Because Anthony Weiner is a fantastic legislator. He did so much for the 9-11 victims and, okay. and all those I sick make, workers. I want to make a confession. I was not aware of that. And he's a liberal Democrat. How I was not aware. I wasn't aware of that. He's a great person. He really is. He's a liberal Democrat. He's a hardworking senator. We don't have that many. But he's a man. And... Guys want to play. They want to play with their Peters. They want to show you their weenies. They want to... I mean, I, I don't even well, think... Well, Brett Favre sent the, the penis pic. Anthony, <laughs> like, we all... It's sexting. We all do it. We take a picture of our genitals or something where we look hot. Women, we pose a little more, but well, it's women, just fun women to do, do their it. tits and the guys do their dicks. It's the Larry Flint statement that really blew my mind. What did he say? Because I do think he's an oracle. Larry, who has been shot and paralyzed from the waist down, fighting for our right to speak about sex. He's a freedom fighter. Got paralyzed. Ended up in a wheelchair. Got addicted to pain gave up killers, a lot of his life. And he's hanging in there, and he's fight. He, he continues the fight. And he's the one that did the Bill Clinton. I'll give you a million dollars uh, to the women who said if you can document a senator. That you've had sex with. Because they're all having sex. Republican, Democrats, they're all having we, sex. We want men to have sex. Please, men, have sex. <laughs> and I'll talk about the women later. But right now, I think it's the healthiest thing these idiots in Congress <laughs> could do is get off. <laughs> God damn it makes me crazy. Oh, so, so what did Larry say? Larry said, besides the, the survival, the next most powerful instinct is sex. And I went... Yes. It's the only reason we're here. I know that. How come everybody else doesn't? And, and I liked the second, what he added to that. He said, and we know the least about it. And guess who's been devoting most of her life to? The fact that we know nothing about it. And we try to keep our kids in the dark, and everyone's sheltered, and there are all these myths, and no one knows what's going on. And I get to say this, thanks to organized religion, the stupidity continues. A lot of the commentators that were female, they, they kept on asking the question, why do men do this? What is wrong with them? How come you don't know? Because it's the sex drive. And, I, and women don't have a sex drive in that sense because it's a different story It's been for repressed. Us. Repressed. We don't have orgasm. The, and and it, the guy is, is out, out here. His dick is out here. External genitals. And he's going to put his dick inside our bodies. And what, what does that Very mean? Very different. Pregnancy. STDs. Exactly. And then add the slut stigma and the fact that no one teaches you how to get off and everything porn tells you about the male model of how they get off and you're, it's done. You're closed down. I would close down if I didn't know how to have an and orgasm. And that's why you can't understand. I can understand why I did it because I've done it. We've had a fig leaf over our genitals thanks to, to religion. You For, said that this week and it made all the sense. You said, I forget what issue we were talking about. And you said, let's remove the fig leaf because that's Everyone thinks they're deformed. Everything thinks there's something wrong with them. They're not adequate. It's not big enough. It's not small enough. It, 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 let's just get I'm rid of it. I'm telling you, I mean, I've done these workshops for a thousand years or so, it seems, and every woman who looks at her genitals goes, oh, that's ugly. I don't really like it. Because we it's, don't look at genitals at all. We have no, no way to establish a sense of aesthetics. It's pathetic. No. And we all think that whatever we have, there's something wrong with it. Look, when it was at Ashcroft, they're putting little <laughs> fabric over Lady Justice's breast. I mean... <laughs> this is such a sexually sick society that... I think we're right down to the line. We're either going to break through and accept sex as a natural part. Oh, we will, and we're going to do it. Okay. I'm so glad that's to hear, it. Glad no. to hear you say it. Okay. 
So it's up to Dotson and Ross to end the sexual hypocrisy.